All right, we are back in the booth on Saturday night and we are gonna do a shad pattern out of this G87 knockoff. Uh, what I've already done is I've put a coat of bright white solid from House of Colors Custom Shop. And then I put a coat of ice pearl green over the top of it. And what it is, it's very similar to the hot rod sparkle on the um, the Wicked line. It's very cool looking. You can see, I don't, I don't know if you can really see it on the bait right now, but it's it's got that bright white and it's got those sparkly looking uh, pearls on it. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna readjust everything and we're gonna use some black, some black golden. Switch guns real quick. Put a few drops in here. Turn our fan on. We're going to take a Gerald Mendez stencil. Do a little work. Not. I'm not going to do as much as I normally do on a shed. I'm actually going to stop it right there. And we're going to do the same on the other side. We're gonna stop it right at the eye. Just get a little on there. We'll set that down. And we'll go ahead and hit this top. Go ahead and, well, not yet, I'm not. I'm just gonna heat set that and leave that black in the gun. Then we're gonna take some, some silver white pearl from House of Color, and we're gonna go over the gills and the eye. We're gonna have to switch guns. I'm gonna keep that black, because I'm still not done with the black. So we'll leave that in the gun. All we're gonna do is put it right here on the eye. And the gill, that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this front. Okay, I'll clean that out real quick and be right back. All right, that is dry. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some blotches with that same silver paint. I'm not gonna take all of the white out of this, but we'll take a little bit 
and try to just spread it in here a little bit. That'll give it a, a unique look. So I'll we'll leave that alone. I'll put, a, I got a little bit, I'm trying to see here. Uh, we'll do a little bit right here. Okay. And we'll flip the other side over and lock it in. We'll just do it. I'm used to doing it upside down just from doing this a lot. Just want to get a little bit on there. Okay. So we'll heat set that and I'll be right back. All right, we got that dry. And now what I'm going to do is I, I'm using a kill dot stencil from Lure Build and we're going to put our kill dot on. And we'll line this up. I didn't even change my gun. That's not going to help. So we'll line that up again. And we'll go ahead and just do a... Flip it over and do the same thing on this side. Get that done, turned out good. Let that dry just for a second. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean this gun out. All right, so we got that dry. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a fin on it from Whitmore Farm. This is their fin stencil, excellent stencil. So go check them out at Whitmore Farm and get you one of these. I gotta put a little bit of black in the gun. Okay. And we're gonna pick this stencil here. to do is just go on the outside of it there you go that turned out good we'll get one more on this side Got that done. Set this to the side. Clean this out really quick. All right, so we've got the kill dot and the stencil on, and the fin stencil, I mean, excuse me. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of a scale pattern on it. And what I'm gonna use is some metallic blue silver to do this. This is a very thick paint. It is a wicked color. It is 0364 metallic blue silver. And the stencil we're gonna use is, is the Just Tips from Anarchy. This is a very cool stencil. And all we're gonna do is, we'll do it in sections. And it's coming out really 
really light. Flip it over, do this on. Okay. Gives it a nice light stencil look. So we'll clean that out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a little bit of shading gray and I'll take a little piece of this. This thing has been called everything under the sun so I don't know even where to begin with that. I've used it for years. I've had the same roll for about seven years and I'm just gonna do a little little light touch on the eyes around with this. I don't want to do a lot. Just want to do a little bit around my eyes. And it's loose. And it's sprayed loose. We'll try that again. That's better. Must have had a little water in it. Okay. So I'm gonna heat set that really fast. All right, now we're gonna use a little bit of iridescent gold fine. And I'm gonna put some modeled on the gill plate and kind of down the lateral line. I'm gonna use the bigger ones for this. Set it here and I'm gonna run it just a little bit down this middle. It's barely seen, but it does it does make it it makes a difference. Okay. So we'll heat set that really fast. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I mixed up some eye candy. It's actually like a purple blue color shift and we're gonna put a little bit on the top. And then I'm just gonna to touch a few of these black parts where the scales are, and it'll actually kind of make the scales really be able to be seen. That's the cool thing about this color shift. Put a little bit on that fin. A little on the kill dot.
It really makes the scales come to life. It really makes it natural. And I'll show you more of that when we get done, but I'm gonna go ahead and heat set this real quick and we'll move to the next. All right, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit more black in my gun and I'm gonna do a little bit of the modeled on, on top of the gold that I modeled on the gill plates. Just a little bit, just in spots. I'm gonna use the smaller ones. Not gonna do a lot, just in a couple spots. The color shift paint really is very cool looking it it really brought the scales to life if you haven't used much of that you really need to give that a try that eye candy stuff is very very nice your your belly's still going to be the jet white we're going to clean this out and do a few more little things to it all right so the bait is dried with uvls and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go over some of the stuff that we did this is, like I said, this is a little bit more detailed than some of the other ones that I've done. So what I did first, I came over and I sprayed some House of Color bright white solid base coat over the base. Then I came back over with some Ice Pearl Green, which is kind of like Hot Rod Sparkle of the Wicked brand. It gives it a really unique look. Then what we did was we took some silver white pearl and we just put it over the eyes and the gill plate to make that silver. Then we took the stencil from Lurebill, the kill dot stencil, and we put our kill dot on. Then we used the Whitmore Farm fin, fin stencil and we put that on both sides. Then we took some shading gray and went around the eye sockets with this um, fabric that everybody uses that we've all used for God knows how long and it turns out really cool. So then what we did was we took the Anarchy model stencil and we put a layer of gold and all over the gill and then we ran it down the side so it kind of gives it a gold it looks kind of like a goldish flesh tone layer going down the sides. We used the Gerald Mendez stencil and put some splotches um, also on the top of the bait with black and we did it with the silver white um, to come down to the bottom. Then we took the top and covered it with black, which was the golden High flow black, which is a very excellent plane. It's probably the best black I've ever used. We let that dry. We came back over with the Just Tips Only stencil from Anarchy with metallic blue silver. And I came over just, I mean, I just came down to the shoulder. You can, when I turn this, you can actually see the, oh, uh, the stencil, the, the scale pattern on it. And then what we did, we came back over with a, a, a mixture of eye candy that I did of purple and blue. And I went over all the black areas. I went over the top, anywhere where I did the Gerald Mendez kind of spotchety black at the top of my shad pattern. And you can see what it did. It actually, I'm gonna take it out and show you that. It takes it, it took it out, and then when you turn it, you can actually see the scale pattern. That really makes the bait, I'm gonna tell you. It's that and a little bit of gold you use on the middle, it really sets this bait off. And then what we did, we came back over and I just did a whole I covered the bait in crystal sapphire, which gives it a really, well, it kind of softens everything, but it, it just gives it a really cool color. Then we use these eyes 
a whole, uh, a big black pupil and silver eye and put a coat of UVLS over that. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and put a coat of UV resin on it. So I'm gonna get all that together and I'll be right back. All right, so we got our UV together and I'm just gonna take it out. Got my brush ready to go. And this is really gonna make this come to life. It's gonna make all those silvers and whites and that color shift just pop. So if you haven't used a lot of color shift paints, or if you're just getting into it, do the research on it. I've done, I've done a few videos on it, but it will definitely change the way your baits look. It's really making this thing jump. It just brings out the colors. And all to go both ways on it. Get a good, get a good coating on it. And I'll do the bill. Just make sure I don't have any bubbles on it. But you can see the top is just crazy how it's just, the colors just pop out of this thing. And this will just clear the bill up. It just takes that cloud right out of the bill. I don't have any bubbles in it at all. It looks really good. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, I'm just gonna get it, get it in the box and let it sit under the lights for a little bit. And then I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. All right, we have taken the bait out and this is the finished product. A very cool looking shad pattern. So I hope you liked the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I have upcoming videos. And like I always say, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.